Hi guys, welcome back, thanks for watching. So this is part two of the video for my little rocket stove, which hopefully you've seen part one by now. If you haven't, click the link up there somewhere. Um, here we come. So if you've watched any of my previous car videos, you'll, uh, you'll know Cam quite well. Um, so big shout out to all my new subscribers I've got today, courtesy the uh, UK Bushcraft page on Facebook. That's a, a cracking post and I'm sure it's benefited quite a number of people. Uh, right, okay, without further ado, we're gonna give a go uh, lighting this rocket stove. Some people suggesting petrol, some suggesting blowers. I think we're just gonna try a uh, lighter without any gas in it and the shavings from the actual stove itself when I drilled the holes. Right then guys, so I think the plan is I was going to stuff a load of the shavings in the hole. Cameron's just filled up the saucepan that I've uh, acquired from the missus with my manky water butt water that apparently even Bear Grylls wouldn't drink. Um, yeah. I think we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Not any flames. No, that's the drain, any. Yeah, <laughs> we had. Oh, we're fire. Ah, oh. you know what? I just thought these are cooking skewers, aren't they? Yeah, I, I yeah. believe they're treated with something. Yeah. <laughs> well, we after. Oh, here, what about some of this? I've been drying this up for a little while. Bit of roughage. Yeah, a bit, bit of roughage in your diet. In fact, what we should be able to do now, Cam, is feed it in through the horizontal hole, just for the moment. Yeah, so we should be able to now, because it's... Just work out where flame actually is, without putting too much on it in one go. Um, and it's just gone out. No, no, because I see it. Still got it? Yeah, it's, the embers. it's flaming down the bottom. Bigger hole. I don't know. I saw a guy. He kind of fluted the opening. Yeah, yeah. So kind of shampered around the the edge there. That's because it doesn't need much, does it? That's no, no. It's literally just a, a waft. Should we bang the saucepan on top? Do you think? Yeah, why not? Give it a go. Yeah, because we can always put. All right, this is a momentous occasion, internet. We can poke stuff through the side. My my wonderful viewers, we're doing this for you. This is in the, the aid of uh, scientific experimentation. Are we fairly centred? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. My wife's prized saucepan. It's not boiling yet. <laughs> it's 
But at least 30 seconds, wasn't it, boy? <laughs> Would you reckon lid on or lid off? Lid on will take less energy, won't it? Lid on, right, let's try it, let's try it. Why not? We're, we're surviving here, we've got to preserve the fuel. Look at this! Oh, wheel chopper this! I'm going to give it a couple of minutes. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'll set the tripod up. Just looking kind of side on. And then uh, we'll do a little time lapse, bit of footage. Have a look to see how the water's doing. Hey, we have steam. Right, I'm running out of battery. We've got steam. I think we can consider this successful if difficult. I'm getting absolutely smoked out. Oh my god, I'm actually crying. Um, oh, I can't believe it. It's actually worked. Admittedly, it's been two men for an hour. With toys, um, a lighter. But we take that with us. But no petrol, no petrol at all. And whoosh, we got we got steaming water. Got water. <laughs> it's it's on the brink of boiling. There again, some little bubbles around the edge. Right, so I think we've concluded. This, although it's working, when we pump air into it, it kind of just the flame dies away as soon as we stop. So, either I need a bigger air hole, or what I think I might do is just modify this one and drill additional holes. Yeah, as we think, there's the hole. So, I drill like a hole this side and then a hole uh, that side. Um, just even get a bit more airflow through and up because it takes a tiny little draft and, and we get flame. And the water by now. It's boiling. No, it's still not boiling. Very close. Very close to boiling. Sort of successful, but needs some work. Right, I'm down to like 3% battery now. So later on, you'll see me do the outro. I'm saying I'm running out of battery. I'm actually doing this after the finish, but you're going to watch the finish after this bit. Um, we've, we've kind of got the water boiling, but we also kind of think a mistake we made was putting the saucepan on too soon. So we actually do wonder whether we starve some of that airflow. Take the saucepan off there for a second, Ken. Okay? I mean, look at the size of the hole that's burning the top. Well, it's had a good old go at that. But that's like a good hour's worth of, uh, hours worth of playing around with this. Yeah, don't know. Thoughts and advice will be greatly welcomed. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this one interesting, as always, like and subscribe. Hit the bell button thing for notifications. I've got quite a few videos. I'm kind of behind on my, my uploads at the moment. So I've got a few kind of um, prepping videos, if you will, where I've gone out for walks. Um, and something very, very special coming, which I hope will be here at the end of the week. But shh, don't tell the wife. Um, and I'm gonna try and drag, drag this man out. You know, he's done D of E. For those of you who know what D of E is, he's basically like a 25 year old Boy Scout. It was a while ago. Or he likes 25 year old Boy Scouts, I can't remember which it is. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you next time.